Well, good evening and thank you for joining us on Scoreboard. It's that show that tells you all what has been going on in sports around the week and also as a precursor to what's going to happen over the weekend. Again, we delve deep into what is coming up in terms of the fixtures. Now, today we've lined up um, something very interesting for you. Now, the highlights of what is going on because there's been a lot going on around sports. The highlights will be, of course, the Kipkano Classic. It's a World Athletics Continental Gold Tour event. Now, that means that you you can use it for qualification for some big events and most notably coming up is the world athletics championship so there are a big number of athletes with big names who are jetting into the country for that on saturday names like shelly ann fraser prize shakari richardson ferdinando manyala will all be there this saturday so that's one of the biggest events that is going to happen this weekend the kenyan premier league is also going to be big this weekend that's because Tasca, who are the defending champions, are hot on the heels of Gormaya, who's leading the table. Now, there are two matches this weekend that could determine who takes the lead again. Gormaya is in the Mashimeji Derby with FC Leopards, and Karibangi Sharks are playing Tasca. So, Tasca and Karibangi Sharks, Saturday. Sunday is Gormaya versus FC Leopards. That's a very big weekend of sports as well going on. The AFCON Under-17 is also going on in Algeria. It's gotten the quarterfinal stage, and already people are matching up the finalists. Who will be there? Now, one match has just got finished now. Now, we'll give you the results of that one plus there's another one going on the, the fourth quarter final to be able to know who's going into the semi-final so this and more will be coming up shortly on uh, scoreboard and then of course you can interact with us as well it's a very simple question today Shakari no 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 let's change that Shelian Fraser Price or Ferdinand Omanyala it's very simple don't say any more don't say any less Shelly and Fraser Price or Ferdinand Omanyala. I am at Bernard underscore sports at Wilfred Bungay and at K Chege underscore sports. Chege is not here today. He is in, on some golfing mission that is keeping secret from us. He'll let us know what is going on later on. But I am with the captain here, Wilfred Bungay, 800 meters Olympic medalist. Thank you for joining us, Wilfred. It's been a very big week, week of sports. A lot is going on. What has worked for you and what has not worked for you? Uh, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Bernard. And uh, first and foremost, you know, welcome back. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you are the only person who has welcomed me back. Yeah, Everybody yeah. just thinks I should be here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know talking about actually what work um as i've always told you that you know it's not about what really worked but sometimes you know it's not what didn't sometimes work. also what did it yeah work? what yes. didn't work yes. you know you have some expectations and then suddenly but uh, for me uh bernard you know it's a it's a sad story especially that is coming from uh, the field of athletics uh Nigel Amos, you know has been banned for Nigel Amos, yes, 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 i remember yes. that this, this is a third fastest man in the history of uh, 800 meters yes and unfortunately he has been found uh, to have used a drug called GW1516, which is a new... GW1516? It sounds like a spare part of a car. What is well, that? No, actually, it's a, it's an experimental track. It, and okay. this is something, Bernard, that, that we have been talking about uh, this issue for some time. And I told you that in the field of athletics, those who want to cheat, they will always want to uh, find something new that is not banned. And that is why with G, uh, GW1516, it's an, an experimental track track that is still going on yeah. but uh, unfortunately you know uh, he has been banned now the sad story again is that because he admitted you know he admitted that his he used final it. admission yes, yes of course you know he has got an uh, reduction of one year that that's why he's going but to three for years this. is still a lot i mean three I years know. ends a career totally doesn't it so that admission uh, and one year lessened is really just the end of the career yeah that is why i said you know it's not about what what work and what didn't work because yeah, for absolutely. me i would like to see a, a clean sport banat you know whereby we know when somebody is winning and we are celebrating uh, right for example we are excited for you know uh, most kenyans they are coming to come and watch some and then tomorrow but now after he that, wants to sell first of all his uh, his uh, he wants to sell his um, his medal and well, he has even given a value for it and then he says he's waiting I don't know for what and then the value will go up I don't understand what that is of course again you know I mean that is the the, the, the interesting thing actually I had his, uh, about this yesterday okay medals first and foremost you cannot sell them I don't know what is what unless <laughs> you are selling for it unless you are selling for a, for okay. a charity you know? all right, uh, yes. let's not discuss Nigel Amos I was gonna tell you what worked for me Michael Olunga uh, got the Golden Boot Award in uh, Qatar he was the top scorer there were 21 goals scored in the Premier League and then again um, uh, after Nigel Amos the, the big thing is the, Ken the the athletes that are getting into the country for the Kipkeno Classic that is what worked for me let's start off with the FKF Premier League. That's where we start from now. The Kenyan uh, Football League is, uh, is going to the wire. We are at the business end of things and things are getting very difficult. Coaches are already being fired. Others are already having to explain what happened to the matches. Now, 
uh, just over the weekend there was there's going to be some very big matches but before then again some results actually determined where the league was going tasca with a draw gormaya with a win and the two are in a neck-to-neck -neck battle on who's gonna take the league now tasca uh, have uh, 61 points and are in the second position while gormaya have 63 points and are in the top position at the moment there were some results wednesday city stars drew with tasca and then there was also the big the match between uh, um, police and sofa parker and that was another result altogether now we talked to some coaches as well this is what they had to say about that match listen to this in the moment that we started the game i considered from the first first attack from police but you could see it was the ball to my striker. So the player is pinched by my, the defenders of police. Then it's played advantage to the police. So we concede with, with, from two, two goals which are, are fast break. So we had crucial uh, chances to equalize this game. I think we are a little bit unfortunate not to make the goals. Ntapongeza wenze tu amboni sofa paka. Imekua timu zuri. Kiangalia vile wa mecheza. Na vile... Siyoti wamepigana paka daka mwisho. Dapokuwa tume wa surprise nazo gulimbili za raka raka. Alafu tukapigia msumaru wa tatu daka za mwisho. Now this sounds like an analysis and a very animated analysis at that. We've considered these two goals and we know we could have considered from the counter-attack. That's David Auma. <laughs> he was very animated. <laughs> Captain, what do you think about the league at the moment? Well, what's think, going on? I, I think as you said, you know, because Kenya Police and, uh, and the Sofapaka, you know, the, uh, the Kenya Police 3-0 yes. uh, to Sofapaka. And, uh, you, you know, with the Kenya Police, if you look at them, you know, they have been... Uh, the way they started before you know they were very good and then again uh, at certain point they were going a little bit low yes. but if you look at the moment again it looks like they are they are coming back and again you know don't forget uh, uh, you know M M uh, Pandari, Mombasa Pandari. Pandari yes, yes yeah yes. you know I mean uh, their game also is uh, they are doing very well yes the moment, they eh? actually notched yeah. some v two very big wins and yeah. one with a three uh, with three, three goals zero. the other one with seven so yeah. that's that's a lot of goals coming uh, from the bandari side yeah. and that is after they sacked the coach but um, uh, uh, i'm more interested in what's going on at the moment i think we also uh, the, the race is also for the top scorer and who's leading with the goals now uh, of course i mean uh this, this guy is still uh, winning, you know, with... Uh, Benson. Benson, yes, Omala, exactly. Yes, yeah, Benson yes. Omala is this... Uh, he's still, still at the top. Yeah, he's still he's at the top. You know, he's at, at the top four. Man. He's, he's actually better. chasing he's the, the record of the highest number of goals scored in Gorma here. But, you know, there's something that I mentioned some time back, uh, Bernard. It is so shameful that this guy is not in the Kenyan team, you know. Absolutely, they, they absolutely. The stars, well, yet, well, you know, he's doing very well. But, of course, again, there's nothing that you can do. It's about the coach. Let, let, let's, 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 listen to first, let's listen to him and what he had to say after the match they played last because he's the one who's getting the goals. And, uh, uh, and this is what he had to say when we talked to him. Sisi, kama team, tumekuwa na form poa. Na tukuapo juu ya games tumeshinda. Zingine tumepiga draw. Na I think... Yeah, it will be a moral to go to Derby. I think the team poor, the team has a ball. CPA, CPA has a ball. So it will be a Derby poor. So there are chances to to get to me at the end of the game. These are players. The game is very important for CPA. And these players, the game, the game, what we are going to watch. So these are players who do their best. Where is your penny lucky? I am going to go. Come on, striker, Mimi. Mimi, main target yangu ni kufunga tu mabao na hizi games zimebaki. Nataka niongeze mabao zangu pia. Well, we know it's another huge game for us. Um, in terms of it being the derby itself, we know it sits sort of in a unique position within Kenyan and East African football, but also in the context of the season, you know, we've got five games remaining. We're sitting top of the league and you know, we're in a real battle with Tusker, you know, for the league title. So, you know, any game is big at this stage of the season but when you add to the fact just the the rivalry and the history between ourselves and afc it just it it helps the game take on a unique context well that's jonathan mckinstry the gormaya coach now it has to be said that the derby will be the culmination of it all that's on sunday gormaya 63 points they're playing afc who are ninth on the log with 42 points and a plus eight goal difference the homeboys are 42 as well but they're on top of fc Leopards because they have a plus nine goal difference one goal more and with seven rounds remaining uh it's gonna be 